All right, so we have our piece here. First thing we're going to do is fold it over, okay? So you're folding it over right sides together. Now, when you're sewing, a couple of things. Before you even start, you want to wash and dry your fabric two to three times. You wanna get all of the, the amount of shrinkage that might happen out of it. So wash and dry your fabric at least two times, preferably three times. Now, when you're sewing, you should also be sewing with uh, a stitch length of about 10 to 12 stitches per inch. We want to keep these nice and strong, again, because they're going to be laundered a lot. So we want to make sure they're, they uh, hold up in, um, in the wear and tear and the laundering. So you want to have about 10 to 12 stitches per inch. When you turn your sewing machine on, it generally defaults to a 2.0 or 2.5 stitch. That should work just fine, but you want to check that too. Don't have big basting stitches in there. We want these to hold together. All right, so first uh, stitching line you're going to do quarter of an inch after you have folded the piece in half. Now we have correct sides together. That's the correct side of the fabric, wrong side of the fabric. Correct sides of the fabric together, we're gonna sew at a quarter of an inch. So before you begin, check and make sure that you have that quarter of an inch seam allowance marked on your sewing machine if you're not familiar with your sewing machine. All right, so I've already done that. And I'm gonna sew this quarter of an inch seam. Now, you want to keep this nice and strong. So you wanna back tack, go back and forth about three stitches at the beginning and end of, of each seam, okay? And we're just sewing across here. All right, so. There's our quarter of an inch seam. Now we want to press this. So we're going to press this seam, just press it to one side, and then we're gonna turn this out. All right, so we're turning to the correct side. All right, then here's our seam. Make sure that seam is at the bottom. And I would give it another quick press just to make sure that seam stays at the bottom and we're gonna flatten this out. All right, so we have this. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is sew quarter of an inch down each side. I want to, I want this to act as one unit when I'm pleating it. So if I don't secure those two edges together, they, um, they might act a little uh, independent of one another. So again, just quarter of an inch right down the side. Okay, quarter of an inch down the other side. Now this is acting as one unit. Okay. All right, next thing, we're gonna start pleating. Now, on your pattern, you have some notches, which are um, kind of a way to communicate, to, to, uh, to know where to bring the pleat lines down to. So let's take a look at our piece. We want the fold line up here. And I'm going to mark, this is our small size mask. So I'm going to make a little pencil mark at one and a half. Again, at one and a half inches each side. Okay. So these are notches, just a way to communicate to yourself where you need to fold to. Here and here. That was at one inch and then one and a half inches again. So again, these notches, one and a half, one and a half, one inch, and then one and a half. Okay, a little bit different. This is written in the instructions. So certainly download those. You'll have, you'll have some prompts in there as well. Okay, so I have this marked and sometimes it is helpful just to clip the fabric. In fact, when you downloaded the pattern, you might have clipped your notches, which is absolutely fine. That works great, okay? So these little clips right here, they just alert you to where you need to bring um, the fabric down to, or it alerts you to your next step. Okay, so our next step, again, this is the fold, this is the seam. 
we're gonna bring this down. So I'm, I'm, see how I'm pulling it taut here at the top notch? So the top notch is brought to, the first notch is brought to the second notch. And then I am going to pin and pin, okay. Then I'm gonna pull that third notch taut, bring it down to the fourth notch like this. See, we're creating pleats here. Okay, now we're gonna put a pin in here and a pin right here. I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew these down just here and here. I just wanna hold those pleats down so when I'm sewing or working on another step, I don't need to be mindful of those and keeping those together and closed. So back over here, quarter of an inch, and we're gonna sew this. And be mindful of that quarter of an inch. Okay, we don't wanna make this um, uh, too small. You don't need to back tack on this, we're just sewing this down to flatten it. Now, one thing, when you are working, pull those pins out of the way when you're sewing, don't sew over pins. When you sew over pins, occasionally your, your sewing machine needle will hit those pins and break the needle, either the needle or the pins, and it can kind of fly up. All right, other side. Just holding those pleats down, okay. All right, so we're looking at this right now. Okay, pull those pins out. We did not sew over those, we got those out of the way. So, starting to look like a mask. All right, now, our next step is to put in a, two additional pleats. So, we have this, it's nice and flat right now, but you wanna look at this, find, find the area here, there's my seam right there, and the area that's about one and three quarters, and really, it, it almost just depends on which way uh, you flipped your mask, but, you wanna look at this and um, and find the kind of the, the longer section. It's longer from here to here than it is from here to here. And your pleats are up, okay? So find that longer area and we wanna mark seven eighths of an inch above here. Okay, so we're gonna mark in our seam seven eighths of an inch and that is right here. And then on this side, seven eighths of an inch here is right here. This is for our additional pleat. And make sure that they're, they're level. So put your ruler down and make sure that those notches are, are level. And again, it doesn't matter if your seam is above or below. You just kind of want to look for that area where it's a little bit wider, okay? And then we're going to take this, drag this up. So I took, that's where the this uh, pleat is, this first pleat here. I'm just dragging this all the way up to here, okay? and I'm putting in an additional pleat right here. Now drag this up to here. You could clip that notch if you want, okay? All right, so we're looking at this. Now, what this does, it, it allows for some cupping over the face, over the nose, and it also uh, ends up kind of hugging the sides of the face a little bit better. All right, so you're looking at this. And again, it doesn't really matter whether you're on this side or this side, but you wanna just choose your correct side, okay? And then this is gonna be seven eighths of an inch above. All right, now we have this. I'm now gonna secure these down on each side. So let's do that. Again, I'm sewing at a quarter. And I don't need to back tack on this because I'm gonna have a final stitch which sews the side panels on. And that's really gonna be the one, the stitch that holds everything together. So right now I just want kind of a temporary hold of this pleat so it doesn't move around on me. All right. Okay, so we're looking at this so far. Now the next step, you wanna trim your edge here, just about a 16th or an eighth of an inch. You wanna just get that nice and straight. Um, so you're looking at maybe an eighth of an inch from this, the stitch line or three sixteenths. So we're really just cleaning up all of these threads and making this nice and straight for our next step. Okay, just right here. So I have these two straps and we're gonna fold it in half and just clip the edge right here. 
okay? We want to notch this. All right, now we're going to fold this in half, our, um, our, our mask in half like this, just to kind of find the edge, which is really right at that pleat right there. So what we're going to do, uh, correct sides together, we're going to sew this strip on right here, okay? So let me grab my pins. We're going to sew this at one quarter of an inch. All right. So pin this. We're just going to sew this right here, okay? And you can do you can do kind of production line where you do each side um, the same step on each side, or you can do one and then the other, whatever you choose. All right, so we're gonna get this nice and secure. We're gonna sew this at a quarter. Don't sew over your pins. And we get to the end. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna press this. So let's move this out of the way and we are going to press, here's our, the back side of our mask. We're going to press here. Let's start over here. We're going to press this edge in a quarter. We're going to press this edge in a quarter and then we're going to press the, the end in a quarter. So let me do that. Okay, so I just finished my pressing. So you can see, I press this edge in a quarter, this edge in a quarter, and the, the end at a quarter. Press your long edges first and then the end last. Also, we're pressing up the, the seam allowances from the mask up into the strap right here, okay? And this is gonna fold over. See how neat that is? Like this. Now, remember to find the front of your mask. We should have a pin in there to show the front of the mask, okay? Just like that, just so you can keep an eye on that so you know where where to do your stitching. You always get a better looking stitch coming down from the needle than up from the bobbin. Okay, so we have this. Let's put a couple of pins in here. If your fabric is fairly stiff, you don't necessarily need to pin the, these before you sew this, the um, long part of the strap, but I would pin this area here because you really want it secure and you want to be able to sew on the, the correct line. You don't want that moving around, okay? So if, if the very least, just pin this area, but you could probably get away without pinning the um, strap. Okay, so let's put this in. Again, we're gonna sew at a quarter of an inch and you're just enclosing this back tack. Careful over the mask section. Be sure to pull out your pins as you go. I'm going over a lot of layers there where those pleats are. So maybe a little bumpy or loud. And continue on. Okay. Okay. And then, there we go. You're going to repeat this process on the other side. Okay. Exact same thing. You don't need to watch me do that again. It's going to come out looking like this. And then these straps wrap around the head and they, um, they tie in the back of the head to keep it nice and secure.